Okay, quick video to show you how to do a calculated field. So let's first open up the record that we want to uh, add these fields to. I'm gonna enable debug mode. Once that's been enabled, I'm gonna open up uh, Odoo, actually going to install Odoo Studio to add my apps. Um, to do that, you'll just search for Studio, install. And this will allow me to actually add fields to the object that I wanna modify, which in this case will be the cell order. Right, so by going to the order, I can now see the form view. I open Studio. It's going to uh, allow me to customize some of the stuff on the view. Um, I'm actually going to add uh, new fields into, the, into this object, right, onto the data model. So I'm going to take a decimal field here and drop it, and we'll just call this um, value A to keep it very simple. And I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to create a new field called value, value B. And I'm going to add a final field here called value C. Right, value C. Okay. So, right, I just created three fields on this data model that hold values. Um, you know, you have date fields, you have date time, you have um, many to one fields, you have, you know, float or just you know integer fields or float fields you have monetary fields so you have all these different fields that store data and what you can do is you can make them compute against each other i'm going to give you a very very simple example here where i show you how to take the value uh, held in value in field value a multiply it by the value held in field value b and i'm going to store that value in field value c okay so let's start uh first things first activate debug mode that and now I'm going to use studio and I'm going to get the technical names of these fields so technical name of this field is studio value a and this one is studio value B and this one is studio value C and I go to more and I want to make studio value C a computed field so here I would say for record in self and I would then say um, this value equals record so on the record, I want to take the value held in studio value A, and I want to multiply it by same field on the record, x studio value B. And the dependencies essentially define uh, under what conditions this field fa value C would recompute. And I want to say any time that you update the value in either studio uh, value A or x studio value b i want you to recompute the value of field c and just like that that is the custom code give me a second i messed something up um, so x studio here uh, nope actually my model is special sale order and here you'll see in 107 um, for record in self um, maybe I need to do is this it I forget uh, it is that I forgot that record right so let's test again and now we go here and I say 10 10 is 100 or 12 15 180 and you'll see anytime I update one of these fields this value recomputes so the logic here is if you want to create a field and you want to use any of the data stored anywhere on this object which in this case is the cell order um, right any of the fields that you see here and these are not just the feed these are not the only fields on this right by going into uh, debug mode here and going to fields you know actually if I just go to models and I type sale order here you'll see all 107 fields so these are all the data points that are tracked on that sale order and you can in theory you can create fields and you can use any of these fields in your computation um, but yeah, it does require custom code as I showed you. And the reason it requires um, custom code is because, you know, that's how else are you going to program the business logic? If you don't want to get into writing Python in order to compute fields, you can always use other alternative approaches like uh, 
our spreadsheets application, et cetera. That still allows you to extract data in real time from Odoo, but you get to just uh, enter formulas as you would in Excel in order to perform the computations that you want in your sheet. So you still get all the insights you want with the data, um, but you just avoid writing Python. And of course, writing Python creates complexities you know, in the back end when it comes to maintaining the database, migrating it, um, providing support. As you can see I in my example, bugs can, can pop up and you need to know how to resolve them, et cetera. Um, so those are your options. I'd recommend uh, working with spreadsheets just because it's less complex, less costly, and the maintainability is much stronger. Um, but of course, if you do need to perform any back-end business logic uh, and you, wanna, you, want those, you want that data to be computed at the object level, then you would, uh, you would need to do Python. And for that, we'd recommend working with one of our consultants and our developers. They'll be uh, best equipped to build something that's sustainable and cost-effective for you long-term. Thanks so much. Have a good day.